Twin Arrows, now just a remnant of a once bustling hub, sits quietly in the Arizona desert. Just off of historic Route 66, this ghost town is located within the boundaries of Coconino County between the vibrant city of Flagstaff and the quaint town of Winslow. During the 1880s, wagon roads between Flagstaff and Winslow were meticulously charted and surveyed, tracing paths across the untamed landscape. These dusty routes drew the attention of the Atlantic and Pacific Railroad, who opted to construct their iron veins of commerce and transport along the same course. The railway line coursed to the north of what would eventually become the historical alignment of the old national trails and ultimately the famed US 66. In 1926, the U.S. highway system gave birth to U.S. 66, a lifeline that would prove vital during the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. The road helped to guide countless souls migrating west in search of a better life. The highway also breathed life into the economies of the many communities it threaded through. The hamlet town of Twin Arrows found itself bustling with newfound energy as Route 66, hugging the trajectory of the old National Trails Road, brought a steady stream of traffic. It was here that the Canyon Padre Trading Post was born, its name derived from the jagged gorge that etched its way through the nearby landscape. The trading post started its life in around the 1950s as the Canyon Padre Trading Post. Established by F.R. Ted and Jewel Griffiths. However, while working outside of the post, Ted was hit by a passing motorist, and his injuries meant that he had to sell the business. On April 15th, 1955, Ownership passed to William Harland Troxel and his wife, Margaret Jean. Troxel and Jean were already established in the area, running a photographic studio in Flagstaff. When they purchased the trading post, responsibility for running the remote business fell on the shoulders of Jean and her parents, Edna and Levi Maxwell. The Maxwells lived at the trading post while Jean commuted each day. For almost 30 years, she drove the 22 miles along the two-lane Route 66 from Flagstaff to Twin Arrows, seven days a week. However, the store and diner in Twin Arrows experienced a lethargic start until a reinvention took place. Inspired by the nearby town of Two Guns, the owners rebranded the trading post as Twin Arrows Trading Post and added a service station to its offerings. They then constructed two towering 25-foot arrows on the property, their tips piercing the desert ground. 
these large landmarks became a unique and helpful symbol for traveling motorists. Their silhouette easily recognizable amid the vast desert. The trading post began to flourish, drawing patrons from the steady stream of traffic along Route 66. The trading post, with its emblematic pair of arrows jutting towards the sky, had become an oasis of civilization amidst the sun-scorched wilderness. Its heart, the diner and store, became the stage for countless stories and the shelter for countless souls. Inside the diner, every surface gleamed with a luster that only objects doused with love and care could boast. The formica tables and the vinyl cushion chairs, scrubbed clean daily, bore the imprint of many hands and bodies, each leaving behind a faintest trace of their life story. The air perpetually smelled of fresh coffee, frying bacon, and an undernote of a cinnamon that hung around the kitchen door. This rich tapestry of aromas woven together was as iconic as the towering arrows outside, a signature scent that welcomed all who visited. The diner's heartbeat with the rhythm of conversations, clinking utensils, laughter, and the soft murmur of an old radio. Throughout the years, it provided a landscape to the human symphony that played out in its confines. Truckers shared their tales of the road over steaming mugs of coffee and hearty meals. Families on vacation marveled at the endless desert landscape outside the windows. Solo travelers found solace in the anonymity provided by the desert outpost. All were tied together by the threads of shared humanity and their bond of traveling an open road. Evening was when the diner truly came alive. As dusk dropped the desert in hues of purple and crimson, the Twin Arrows trading post would sparkle with a warm glow as it lit up under the Arizona twilight. The sinking sun painted the diner in a soft, warm glow a stark contrast against the cool, encroaching night. Inside, the radio crooned old melodies, giving rhythm to the night. The laughter echoed long into the night, only fading when the last of the patrons retired, leaving behind an empty room warmed by their shared stories. The diner, steeped in the silence of the desert, would hold its breath, waiting for the desert sun to herald a new day, a new set of travelers, a new swirl of stories. Over the years, the Twin Arrows trading post became more than a simple rest stop on Route 66. It transformed into a beacon of life amidst the arid wilderness, a witness to the constant ebb and flow of humanity traveling the vein of America that was Route 66. It became a living, breathing entity, absorbing every spoken word, every hearty laughter, and even the sights too heavy for words, weaving them all into a silent song echoing through the vast desert. The cash register's ring, the sizzle of the griddle, the click of the coffee mugs, all became the backdrop for an ever-evolving human experience. It was not a grand or opulent place, but it didn't need to be. It offered warmth, sustenance, a sense of familiarity to those far from home. And a pause amidst the relentless march of time. Years rolled into decades until 1995 saw the final sunset for the Twin Arrows trading post. Its doors closed, the laughter faded, 
and the twinkle in its windows dimmed. Yet it was not an end, merely a gentle retreat into the pages of time. The trading post became an echo, a wistful sign of the desert wind, and a memory etched deep in the history of Route 66. Today, if you pass by the Twin Arrows trading post, you'll see a silent tribute to years gone by. A single arrow still stands, its paint chipped and colors faded, but spirit undeterred. The advent of Interstate 40 is ultimately what started to spell a grim fate for the once thriving Twin Arrows trading post. As motorists began to bypass the iconic Route 66 favoring the newly constructed highway, the pulse of business at the trading post began to wane. This once bustling hub of activity began to witness its glory fade. Ownership changed hands numerous times like a flickering candle passed between unsteady hands in the wind until 1995 when the flame was finally extinguished. The trading post was shuttered, its doors closed for the last time, and was left to the mercy of time and the desert winds. In the past, some encouraging signs were seen regarding the long deteriorating Twin Arrows. The two giant arrows were fully restored in 2009 after years of decline, and a volunteer work crew helped tidy up the property during the Route 66 festival a few days later. It is reported that this arrow fell in 2022. It appeared at the time that the Hopi Indian tribe was indeed going to do something with the Route 66 property. A Hopi council representative and land team member said that the tribe's ambitions for the site include reopening the curio shop and diner. The store would showcase and sell authentic native art and traditional dancers would hold performances in the open area outside the small stucco building. After many months of land disputes between the Hopi, Navajo Nation, and the state of Arizona, the new Twin Arrows Casino was opened in 2013, permanently overshadowing this beloved relic. Twin Arrows, though no longer humming with life, continues to live on in the memories of those who found a piece of home within its embrace, and even in those who have only heard its tale. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and maybe even tell a friend. If you have any stories, questions, comments, issues, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment. I love to read them. Thank you for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.